You are watching Content with Candace. In today's video, I will feature the handbags that are worth what I paid for them. In my opinion, that is. If you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. But before we get into the video, I would like to first show you my handbag of the week. This is the Coach Roll 25. It is the bag that I'm currently carrying right now. Actually, I'm getting ready to switch out of this bag. Today is Sunday, so I normally switch out of my bags on a Saturday or a Sunday. It is in the color taffy. If you are interested in seeing more or hearing more information about the Coach Roll 25, please check out the other videos on my channel. I will place the videos also in the description box below. Before we get into the video, let's see what I have in this bag. Actually, in this first pocket, I put the skinnier strap because I normally attach these two straps together and make it as a crossbody because it's thinner and when you attach two straps and make it as a crossbody it does add less weight to the bag so I place this in my bag rolled up just in case the thicker strap was going to be too much so I have that in the first pocket and then I have a receipt here and that's all I have in the first pocket these pockets Outer pockets here and here are suede, so I don't like to put too, too much in those outer pockets. Let's just check the other outer pocket and see what I have in there. I don't have anything in here right now, but normally what I'll have in there is my cell phone. And I'm currently filming on my cell phone, so I don't have that in there. Here's a place where you can put a card. Of course, for this bag, you see this big giant pouch? That's what I have. It has all my essentials on the inside, all the wipes, hand sanitizer, the little plastic picks, lip balm, all of that is in there, and a lotion, all fit in there in this pouch. Okay. Also, I have my wallet. And this wallet has all the cards, all of my cards, cash, and change. This is called a Hutton wallet for those of you that are interested. I don't care for the Hutton wallet all that much because I don't like the way when you open it, it doesn't flatten down all the way. So if that's not an issue for you, then you probably be okay with it. It is a nice wallet though, but I still use them because I, they are in my collection and it does pair nicely with this Coach Rogue. The only con about the Coach Rogue is it's a little bit bulky when it's on as a crossbody. And also, the other con being about this wallet is somewhat thick. Have my gum. Lysol. This is my checkbook pouch that I chose to use for this handbag. And there's my stamps again and all my cards and key fobs. And the key fob that I use every day. And that is all I have inside the bag. As you can see, all of these essentials, everything I need fits inside this bag. In fact, I have more than enough room to spare when I use the Coach Road 25. We will now get into the handbags that I purchased that are worth what I paid for them. In my opinion, that is. The first handbag I'm going to show you is my Cassidy Top Handle Crossbody, you guys. Of course, you already know this is one of my favorites. Probably can go as so far to say almost. Probably my favorite handbag. I talk about this one quite a bit. I love this handbag. 
I paid $86.74 for this bag before taxes. The reason why I love the bag is because the leather is very thick. I want to show you from the side of the leather so that you can see. If you are interested in getting more information about this handbag, please check out the videos on my channel, Content with Candace. For those of you that are interested, I will link those videos below in the description box. Once again, this is the Cassidy Top Handle Crossbody. The next handbag that is definitely worth what I paid for it is the Coach Cassie. This is the regular Coach Cassie. This is not the Coach Cassie 19 that's currently being featured on the Coach website. I love this bag. I actually have two more just like it. One in the signature CC and one in the Oxblood color. I paid $210 for this bag. I caught it on sale right at the time when it was discounted. And I almost didn't buy because it was a light color bag, but I'm glad I purchased it because I really enjoy using this bag, you guys. I do have videos on my channel regarding the Coach Cassie. If you're interested in more information, please check out those other videos on my channel. Once again, this is the Coach Cassie in the color chalk. This is the Coach Cassie in the signature CC print. It is also worth what I paid for it, in my opinion. I paid $245 for this bag. This is in the color ox blood. This one's my favorite. I don't remember exactly what I paid for this one. I believe I got it at a discount. All three of the Cassies came from, I know two of them I got from directly from Coach. And then the third one, I believe this one came from Dillard's. I tried to go back into my history to pull it up just to verify that for sure, but they had, you can only go so far back on the website. I just can't remember where I got it from, but yes, they all came from Coach Retailers. This is my red vintage Coach handbag. Every time I talk about this bag, I can never remember the name of it, but it is a saddle flat bag, as you can see. Very roomy on the inside. I actually paid $30 for this bag. Yes, I did buy this one pre-loved and I dumped and cleaned it. It was actually in brand new condition, but you know me. I, my steak is ready? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. I'll be there shortly. That's my son Ian telling me my steak is ready. It is Mother's Day. I'm filming this on Mother's Day. Just want to do something fun today. Happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you out there. But anyway, I love this bag. It is just so easy going, so comfortable. If you're interested in finding out more information about this bag, I do have some videos on my channel, Content with Candace. Please check out those videos. I will link the videos below for your convenience. This is a vintage Coach Sutton bag. This is the Vintage Coach Sutton bag. I purchased this bag a couple years ago. I want to say it was in 2020 during the pandemic. Um, I will use this bag in a video this summer to show the dunking and cleaning process. I've already dunked and cleaned it. I don't think I've... Actually, I haven't worn this bag yet because I'm not 100% satisfied with my first dunking and cleaning, so I'm gonna dunk it and clean it again. Although it is, it is clean, but you know, it just gotta be right before I wear it. All of my vintage bags, when I receive them, I dunk and clean all of them, including the lion ones. Once again, this is the vintage Coach Sudden bag. And about three years ago, I paid $30 for this bag. I'm going to show you the inside of it a little bit since this is one that I haven't featured on my channel much. 
has an inside zipper pocket here. That's what it looks like on the inside. Wear this one as a crossbody or a long shoulder bag. And this one I actually thought about cutting the strap off. That way I can have some options on this one. Tell me what you think in the comments. Once again, this is the Vintage Coach Sudden Bag. This is the Brooklyn Carry All. It does have feet. I do have videos on my channel on the Brooklyn Carry All. If you're interested in learning more about this bag, please check out those videos. This is one of my favorite bags. I love this bag, everyone. It is definitely worth what I paid for it because I haven't really used this bag. And the regular price was $4.95, I believe. I found this at the Coach Outlet in the clearance section. The regular price was $4.95. I paid $148.50 for this bag. All pebble leather. And it's also leather lined on the inside pockets here and here. So yes, and I don't mind picking this bag up even today, although it's four years old, I don't mind picking it up and wearing it right now. And if I didn't have this right bag right here, it's up there with my other silver bag that you guys often hear me talk about. Very first one I showed in this video, the Cassidy Top Handle Crossbody. It's up there. Love it. Once again, this is the Brooklyn Carry All. And like I said, if you want more information, please check out the videos on my channel. This is the Legacy Studio Flat Bag. I love this bag. I love the leather on this bag. If you are interested in more information on this bag, I do have, I know for sure, a review video on my channel. And there may be another video on this on my channel on this one as well. I will try to make sure I link that review video below in the description box. I love this bag. I paid $45 for this bag. It was well worth it, you guys. For the full leather bag, in the condition that it's in, it has the back slip pocket. And this bag is deceiving, you guys. It holds a lot more than it looks like it holds. And it's an excellent crossbody. This is, a, this is one of my forever bags. So if you want more information, check out that review video on my channel. Once again, I think this is the Legacy Studio Flap Bag. Legacy Studio Flap. This is another handbag that I truly adore in my collection, guys. I love this handbag. It is amazing. The leather is amazing. The compartmentalization is amazing. I do have some videos on my channel on this bag, Content with Candace. Yes, my strap is stored inside. If you are interested, please go check out the video. I paid $50 for this bag, you guys. And I love it. And it's one of those forever bags in my collection. Once again, this is the Patricia Legacy handbag. This is my Vintage Coach Rambler handbag, you guys. This is my Vintage Coach Rambler handbag. I love this bag. I do have a video, at least one video, on my channel, Content with Candace. This is in the color black. I also have one in brown as well. I think I have a video on that one as well, the brown one and the black one. I love this bag. The leather on it is super soft. So if you're interested in the Vintage Coach Rambler handbag, go check out those videos on my channel. Last but not least, this is the Butterfly Bucket Bag in the color Doom by Portland Leather Goods. In fact, I just want to mention Portland Leather Goods in this portion of the video. I'm not showing you all of my Portland Leather Goods items here, but all of my Portland Leather Goods items, I believe, because they are made out of a thick, full grain leather. They are definitely worth what I paid for them. 
I love this bag right here. I don't even care for bucket bags, but this bucket bag is amazing. The thing that would just bring it over the top, you guys, and I hope Portland Leather Goods is listening. I would like to see them seal their edges like uh, with a fabric seal or a leather piece seal, some kind of edge seal. I don't care for glazing, but if they could do a sew over edge or a seal, that would just be great. But yes, all of my Portland Leather Goods items were very reasonable and they're definitely worth what I paid for. For the sake of this video, guys, I just want you guys to know that when I say the bags are worth what I pay for them, that means I got them at very reasonable rates. Okay? That's what I'm talking about, the price. The price was very reasonable. Although all of my bags in my collection, I do love. Some of them were a little pricier <laughs> than others. And I'm also pulling those bags that I really enjoy and that I do wear. Once again, my Portland Leather Goods collection, including this butterfly bucket bag and the color dune, was worth what I paid for it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please share the video with those who you know will enjoy the content as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking the video. We're almost at 900 subscribers, you guys. So exciting. Yay. I appreciate each and every one of you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.